Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the ADCC vlog. We're here in Newport, California. We're dropping in at Gracie Baja Newport, the school Kendall Rusing coaches at and runs. We're gonna check in with Kendall. She's competing in the plus 60 kilograms women's division, but we're also gonna see Fionn Davis. She's from Wales, but she's here training with Kendall, getting ready for ADCC. She's in the under 60 kilogram. You might remember her from breaking Bia Mosquita's arm, a kind of shocking moment that shocked the world, uh, but ended up taking silver to Bia Basilio in last ADCC, but super Super excited to check in here and uh, see how see how they're getting ready for ADCC. Let's do it. I'm Trey Robinson and I make videos for FlowGrappling.com, the leader in jiu-jitsu media. And in this series, we're taking you behind the scenes with the best grapplers on the planet as they prepare for the 2022 ADCC World Championship. ADCC is known as the grittiest, toughest, and most prestigious tournament in professional grappling. Taking home ADCC gold can change your life forever. So we're going to go around the globe to see how the best athletes in the world are preparing to make their dreams a reality. Welcome to the 2022 to ADCC vlog. Alright, we got here a little bit late, but man, they're getting after it right away. I think they're about to go into some ADCC specific rounds, working the overtime drill where you gotta score to win. So it's looking pretty intense. Should be some exciting stuff. Let's get back into it. Obviously I look up to these girls a lot and I respect them a lot, but at the time I put them on such a pedestal and just put all the miles above me, like I'll never be this level, like it's just like I'm honoured to even just compete against them, whereas now I'm like, no, like they're amazing, but like I can be just as good. Anyone I talk to is sort of like, oh, you've got beer. And I was just sort of like, no, I feel like I really can beat her. Like she's amazing, but like I know it's still possible. And because she has that open style where she's gonna fight me and she's gonna try and fuck me up, that's what's gonna make that opportunity. This is a straight arm bar. Out. Wow, is she gonna Bia tap? Davis has the arm. Wow. Can she submit Bia Mosquita? It's arm on. fully extended. It, wow. Bia is so tough. Man. We talked about the tournament of upsets. Can so. Bia Davis pull off one of the greatest upsets in female jiu-jitsu history? Bia wow. Davis twisting and contorting that she's arm. She's tapping. And she does it! Bia wow. Davis submits Amazing. Bia Amazing. Mosquita! I always want to beat people who've beaten me. I really would love to get that back. And it's, for those, those two are just like, the mental thing that is like, I have to like try and overcome that. So I'm, yeah, I just, I just want to get it done. I just want to, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> Got cakes in the wheel show, let's go. Forget about Kendall and Fionn. Wheels and cakes, dynamic duo, baby. What's the saying? You can't stop the cakes from baking and the wheels from rolling, That's right? That's right, son. Let's go. Let's go. And there it is. Let's Next go. Generation. We are going to my favorite, favorite place in Corona del Mar. It's really mostly the favorite because it, you can walk from the gym, but it's also very good. Rose's Bakery and Cafe, they have breakfast food and lunch, and to be honest, the only thing ever worth eating is breakfast food, especially after training, so that's where we're going. And I'm gonna introduce you guys to the best breakfast in Corona del Mar. So, get ready. The only thing, oh, Fionn, I don't know what you wanna eat. But the only things worth getting are the breakfast food and the steak sandwich. I'm gonna get um, an ice latte. Ice latte. And then. What kind of meal? Do you have like oh, oat milk? Milk of the cow? <laughs> milk, milk cow? It's just normal milk. Yeah. yeah. Alright. What kind of milk did you end up going with? Uh, of the cow. <laughs> nice. Cow's milk. Yeah, there's so many milks. Like, yeah, it's just normal milk. I don't know. We only got like one kind. Hey, how you doing today? Good, sir. These are fluffy ones too, we got lucky. Sometimes they're like a little thin. But we don't like thin pancakes. Okay, so here's what you do. Privacy. So you gotta like make sure the butter gets everywhere. So the first thing is that you start to spread 
You take the pancake, you flip, look at that, Ooh, look at that butter trip. <laughs> flip, okay? So now, the, the, most, the biggest mistake people make is they pour, sorry, they pour the syrup before, but if you pour the syrup before, it just dribbles down the sides. So you gotta cut the squares, okay? So, oh, so you cut all the squares, but you try not to let it fall so that it can still look cute. Here we go, now, Take the syrup and you get in all the crevices. So we're gonna pour the syrup, but you gotta go side to side and then you go this way. And now since you already cut the creases, it gets all in the middle. Normally we could order extra syrup too, but we're being careful. And I'm gonna have one bite of your pancakes and then I'm gonna give it to you because I'm a professional athlete and I don't, I don't eat pancakes, except for when the cameras are, <laughs> are off. <laughs> okay, and then when you get a bite, you have the syrup in the crevices, so now you don't have to worry about equal distribution. Perfect. You're welcome. Black belt and breakfast. Let's go.